This is the dress. It's a little wrinkly, so we're going to iron it. She'd be a little wrinkly. November 11th, 2021 was the first vlog in the daily vlog series. So if we go back to the calendar, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and then 22 is today. That one vlog for Thanksgiving and Black Friday, I mashed into one vlog. Um, so, you know, basically three weeks of straight daily vlogging. <laughs> So basically today is like a uh, pretty empty day. There's honestly like not a whole lot that I've been doing just like school stuff like that um, We're going probably to like chick-fil-a for dinner, you know uh, but honestly I'm fine with today being kind of a lame vlog because yesterday was kind of a banger um, And also I think Friday I might have some good content and then so tomorrow and Saturday I think will be relatively more exciting vlogs um, there's more happening, more stuff going on, uh, so, you know, I'll just let you wait and watch those, but honestly, yeah, there's not a whole lot going on today, uh, just kind of chilling, so yeah, try and think of something to make this video about. <laughs> okay, well, this is kind of interesting, what if we do a video about my daily camera bag setup, so like, what I'm rocking on the daily just the base, you know, just the meat and taters of uh, what I'm carrying around with me. That's interesting. So, you know what? I'm going to get my small little bag that I bring with me and uh, show you what I carry on the daily basis for my camera. All right, let's go. All right, so basically here is the camera bag itself. This is what I've been using for a little while now. It is from this company called Bag Smart. They make like a ton of different bags. This is just one of their small little compact travel backpacks. Um, and it's great. Honestly, I like having a small backpack and this fits just about everything I need on a daily basis and I can stuff it with more stuff if I need to, but, um, let's just get right into the goods. All right, that's it. There's nothing much in here. Um, but let's just start off with this little case right here. This case is from Comica. Um, this just came with a mic that I got a little while back. And honestly, I just like having a hard shell case to keep some little like knickknacks and stuff that just, you know, fly all over the place and I lose really easily. I like to keep in here. So opening it up, uh, it's pretty basic. Right up here, I have this little tin. This is where I keep my ND filter. It's from uh, KNF Concept. And I just took this little like mint Altoid tin and then spray painted it black and makes a great little carrying case and protects my ND filter. And yeah, right here, I have an extra cable for my mic. Uh, this is what I use just... Uh, when I want to plug it into a phone, it's T-R-R-S. And so if I ever do need to use my mic with a phone, that helps. And continuing on with the phone, I have this phone clamp from Ulanzi. I actually picked this up recently. It's only like eight bucks. It's spring-loaded, so it's small. And also, it's got this little, like, cold shoe up top, so I can throw on a mic or something or a light. And that's really why I got this, so that if I ever do want to do, like, a little setup with a phone, I can just throw this on, and that helps a lot. And then you'll notice on the bottom I have this little like GoPro setup. I made a whole video about this. It's a POV setup with for a phone. So if I want to do like some POV photography or something like that, I just throw my phone in that and then bite onto that and then boom. It's a little weird, but the shots that I've gotten with it are pretty cool. And I, you know, I just like carrying this with me. It's kind of a just in case, but you know what? It's fine. Right here, just some lens caps. I got a body cap and then a uh, back lens cap. This right here is a little mini Arca Swiss plate. Uh, it's like a 25 millimeter one. It's super great because I can still access the battery door on my camera. 
um, and then I can swap out between my like gimbal or big tripod when I'm using those. So I just keep this with me uh, just in case. And then right here is just some cleaning solution and a microfiber cloth, you know, keeps everything clean. And then right here, last little thing, this is just little stuff so that I can attach a uh, little camera strap just in case I wanna sling the camera around my neck or something. This is super helpful to have. And that's basically everything that is in this little case. And uh, yeah, that's all the little knickknacks and goods. All right, continue on with that. Here's some SD cards. I keep it in this little Hansky uh, hard shell case. It holds, I think, eight SD cards. This is hard to do one-handed, uh, but it holds like eight SD cards. And it's great to have extras because you never know when one will go corrupt or if you lose one or uh, if it gets full or anything like that. So it's nice to have extras. And then right here is just my charger for my camera. Uh, this is always nice to have just in case battery dies. And then right here is my mic. This is the Comica CVM VM10 Mark II, I believe. Um, I picked this up a little while ago and did a video on it. And on my friend's channel, I uh, we did a whole comparison between this and the Rode Video Micro. And for this being like 20 or $30 cheaper, I was like, yeah, this is obviously worth it. Uh, it came with that case and this cable as well for plugging into a camera. And that's the microphone, and I just pretty much always keep this little dead cat on. It blocks out the wind super well, and honestly, it's just it's super nice to have. And then this. This is the Manfrotto Pixie. This is probably my favorite mini tripod ever. I've tried a Gorillapod. I've tried a little flexible tripod before. But, like, I just, you know what? The Manfrotto Pixie is just so good, and it's just so reliable, and I've never had it, like, be sketch and, like, fall over or something. And so that's why I really, really like these. I basically, like, swear by these things. Um, I just gave my friend uh, my old one and picked up this one in black to kind of, like, keep everything low profile, you know. Um, but, yeah, it's super small. It's compact. It holds, like, I don't know, like, 10 pounds or something, which is absolutely crazy for how tiny this thing is. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love these things and you can't go wrong with them for only about 15 bucks. And then one more little thing is just this little camera strap. Uh, you, honestly, it's just safe to have a camera strap with you. You never know when you might be doing something that could be a little bit sketchy. Throw this over your neck and it'll just stay on your neck. And if you drop your camera, you know, that will save you so many dollars in the, in the long run. So I definitely recommend picking up some sort of camera strap because it will save you. And then the camera. This is the Canon M50. Uh, I don't need to talk about this literally at all because I've made so many videos about it. It's a great camera. It's compact. It's pretty light. And um, honestly, I just have a uh, 15 to 45 kit lens on it. I've taken some really great photos with it. I've shot all the daily vlogs on that except for the shot that you're seeing right now. Honestly, it's just such a great camera and I have really enjoyed using it the past like month or so. So that is it for my daily camera bag setup. It's small, it's light, it's compact, and honestly, it's it's really nice to just carry around a small amount of gear and just be like not having to worry about, you know, bringing in a heavy gimbal and a tripod and all that stuff. You can just, you know, have a camera, a mic, a lens, and like a battery. And like, that's about it. Um, there's a few other little things, but like that's pretty much it for my uh, daily camera bag setup. So if you guys want to see my full camera bag setup, like when I'm going on a trip and I'll bring, you know, more lenses and more gear and stuff like that, then let me know and I'll do that probably next year. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you want to see more videos like this, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And also, 